Greetings, this is Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001, and I'm bringing you a video about one of the Generations badniks. Um, everybody knows that one of the big draws of the Generations line, besides finally being able to get action figures of the classic characters, is that it's really the first proper badnik line that we've had, like, well, ever. I think I have seen pictures of badnik toys that were sold like in Europe or you could get from from like gumball machines but you know in America these are really the first official badnik toys aside from maybe Kiki the monkey and a few characters from Sonic X but um yeah really here we are um so I have been told by people that this that these guys are almost kind of like McDonald's toys uh, I mean, the sculpting is there. I mean, if you look, yeah, this is Egg Robo. He has all the details you would expect to see, except, um, and he has two points of articulation, his shoulders. Uh, yeah, it, I can totally see where people would accuse this of being just a high-end McDonald's toy. Um, he comes with a gun. The reason I was keeping it behind him is because, thanks to the way his legs are molded, and these tiny feet, and this big old backpack, he can't stand for crap. I kind of use the gun as a bit of a tripod, keeps him standing, which is uh, just as well because he cannot hold this thing. I mean, it's sculpted so that even his finger goes through the trigger guard, and I'm probably blocking it with my arm. It's sculpted so that it goes through the trigger guard, but there is no grip, and that's kind of a disappointment. So, what do you do with this? Um, you, may, you may also notice a uh, lack of paint apps. These are two buttons on his trousers and two buttons on his shirt. And he has a stripe sculpted in on his boot, which is not painted either. And his head is all just gray. And the jetpack is also solid gray. And his hands are the same color as the rest of his arms. Why am I pointing out every individual feature? So that you'll have something to look at when I bring out my custom. Yes, this is Egg Robo sporting his proper colors. He has the orange stripes and red boosters on his little rocket pack. He has white painted gloves. He has um, the stripes on his head captured in black. And he has the buttons on his shirt and the buttons on his pants along with his shoe stripe. So yes, in terms of full color accuracy, that's what Egg Robo looks like. Uh, can you tell that I'm actually not watching as I position him on the camera? Now you may be wondering, holy crap, how did you get him to hold his gun? And why is he standing now? Well, the, the, the answer is twofold. First of all, when he's holding the gun, it acts as a counterweight so that it actually allows him to stand. And you can, he can stand with the gun pretty much at his side, and he can stand with it up in firing position. How do I get him to hold it? Oop, I kicked the camera. How do I get him to hold it? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All I did to the gun was drill a small hole in the handle. You can probably see is the black part of the stove. And through that small hole, I stuck a peg. You see? You see in his hand? I used a piece of a toothpick and bore, and, and bore a, a hole halfway through the hand and glued that toothpick in place so that it makes a peg. And the gun slides onto that peg and it allows him to hold it. And that is how you get an Egg Robo to properly wield his gun. All of these modifications probably took me all of an hour to do. So they are not difficult modifications. And if you have a very, nar a very, very narrow drill bit, um, I personally use the second smallest one in my little drill bit kit. That's, that's my stove, as you recall from my little showcase, the front of it is a bit slanted. If I move him back there, he stands, but he's also, you know, small. 
Mm. So yes, um, it took about an hour to customize them to this extent. Uh, use a very narrow brush and a very tiny drill, and you too can make an egg robo capable of standing for display purposes on his own, and he stands very solidly once the gun's like that. I've had him stand on a table for three days with people taking stuff off the table all the time, and and it has not tipped over, so it's it's a solid standard now. And um, I know some 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 people might want to paint some extra details on a gun, but I figured you know it's a gun. Who paints their gun? Guns are guns are made of metal. If you paint them, they're just gonna jam. So I left the gun the way it was, and I just decorated him a bit. So yes. That is my newly colored egg robo. This is Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001 signing off to pet my dog.